This week on Another Thing, the death penalty is again front and center. We'll talk about the move to do away with capital punishment for good. Famed Christie biographer and columnist Bob Ingle talks about the New Jersey governor's chances of becoming president. And my commentary is on Ferguson, the story that won't go away. We begin with capital punishment. New Jersey and New York have done away with the death penalty. And other states across the country are debating the merits of the ultimate penalty. Delaware right now is getting national attention as their legislature considers a ban. And as Ellen Kaloje reports from Philadelphia, the new governor of Pennsylvania has just dealt with the issue on his own. Ellen. Governor Tom Wolf says the death penalty is unjust, flawed, and expensive, and that's why he's put a moratorium on all executions. But the local DA here in Philly says that's unconstitutional, and he's taking the governor to court over it. Now, we tried repeatedly to get Seth Williams to sit down for an interview, but he was unavailable. I was a little bit surprised that he took the lead on it, because I actually thought strategically that the statewide district attorneys association would take the lead on it and he just jumped in right away and took the lead on it. yeah that surprised me some and i was disappointed steve honeyman is the executive director of witness to innocence a group dedicated to abolishing the death penalty despite the da's lawsuit he and others such as dolores shaw are hopeful the governor's actions will put an end to all executions shaw's father was murdered in 1991 and she wanted to shoot his killer herself but she's had a change of heart we're not going to solve this country's problems of crime and violence by killing each other whether we're killing the killers or not this is not going to be the answer no amount of justice is going to bring my dad back. Now, supporters of capital punishment are outraged at the governor's moratorium. The State Troopers Association calls it a travesty and a sad day. And the District Attorneys Association says the governor is imposing his own views and simply ignoring the law. But one Philadelphia man who spent 17 years on death row says all killing must stop. I cried tears because there's a lot of people that's innocent on death row. The system is broken. We, they made mistakes with Harold Wilson in 1988. As for my time I spent wrongfully convicted on Pennsylvania's death row, I know that we as people and human beings and men and women, we make mistakes, okay? And when we have anger that overpowers us, you know, um, we put people to death. New Jersey and New York have banned the death penalty, but supporters have been trying to resurrect it for years. Delaware is the only nearby state that still has capital punishment intact, but no one's been executed there for more than 20 years. As for Pennsylvania, a Philadelphia man is set to be executed on April 17th, but the governor says that won't happen. Reporting for Another Thing, I'm Ellen Kaloje. All right, thank you, Ellen. Continuing our discussion now on the death penalty is Sandy Manning, who is with New Jerseyans for Alternatives to the Death Penalty, and also Sherry Silberstein, who is Executive Director of Equal Justice USA, who looks at the issue on a national basis. Before, let's lay the foundation by talking about what each state's, what their legislation or their court rulings are when it comes to the death penalty. Sandy, I'll start with you. New Jersey. New Jersey no longer has a death penalty. We, um, in 2007, uh, legislation was passed replacing it with life without parole and it was signed by Governor Corzine. Um, in fact, and in Rome, they lit up the Colosseum in New Jersey's honor. We were the first state to legislatively abolish the death penalty since, I think, 1973. Um, and we've started the trend and other states are now following New Jersey's lead. Let's talk about Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania has been uh, a centerpiece in this argument because of Mumia Abu-Jamal. Sure, so Pennsylvania actually has one of the larger death rows in the country, but has had very few executions. Only three people have been executed in Pennsylvania. And they've in, all asked for it. They've right? all asked to drop their appeals and be executed. Um, last month, the governor of Pennsylvania instituted a moratorium on executions, saying that he believed the system was broken, that there's a study commission that's looking at the system and making recommendations, and he's not going to carry out any executions until the concerns of that commission are addressed. New York. 
You're going to have to ask Sherry. Okay, sorry. I'm, 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 I'm I was going to go back and forth to, for equal time, but sure. New York? So uh, New York had a court ruling that uh, suspended the death penalty and said that there was a technical glitch in the law. Um, and sent it back to the legislature to fix it. And then the legislature decided that, you know, they were done with the death penalty and they didn't want to fix it. So they basically left the law sort of suspended and then the court reaffirmed that in 2007. So New York also has no death penalty at the time. So Delaware, the legislator, legis legislature in Delaware is now dealing with this. How much, how much are you a part of that? Yeah, so Equal Justice USA is involved in that campaign. We're working with a broad coalition there as well. Um, but two years ago, the Delaware Senate did a vote in favor of, of repealing the death penalty, but then the bill sort of stalled in the House. Um, so they're basically be taking that up again this year. Um, and we feel really confident. There's a lot of momentum. Um, people are really fed up with the death penalty. It's clear that it doesn't work. And, um, and so we think that Delaware is going to be the next state to get rid of it. As you went through it in New Jersey, is it a Republican-Democrat issue? It was not in New Jersey. We had um, some of our strongest report supporters were Republicans. How about the rest of the country? You know, we actually uh, work with a, a program called Conservatives Concerned About the Death Penalty, and there's this incredible growing wave of conservative opposition to the death penalty um, for reasons of, you know, fiscal responsibility, small government, uh, lack of transparency. There are a lot of reasons that conservatives are now starting to step up and kind of join the abolition movement as well. Um, and so we're finding that there's a great left-right coalition in a lot of states. Right, One state to watch right now is Nebraska, um, which just unanimously passed a repeal the death penalty out of a key committee, and the floor is going to be taking it up. And that passed through the committee with both conservative and uh, progressive support. I was a reporter in Chicago, and I covered John Wayne Gacy, and I covered his execution. And several people at the time, columnists there who were fervently against the death penalty, wrote a similar column and felt this, uh, that I felt. And that was, yeah, you're against the death penalty on so many grounds, but John Wayne Gacy, I mean, you talk to the, the victims, the mothers of those children that he killed. If anybody deserved to die, he should die. Can you argue against the death penalty for John Wayne Gacy? I can. And I, here's, here's the argument, and it's not, I am not arguing that John Wayne Gacy didn't deserve to die, or Ted Bundy, those are, the, those are the hard cases where you can say, yes, this guy deserved to die. I'm arguing that we, he may deserve to die, but we don't deserve to have to kill him. That, that having a death penalty in our society does things to us, that among other things, we are going to inevitably, along with a John Wayne Gacy, we are going to kill an innocent person. There's several cases out of Texas where there's, cert there's doubt that. But you, you, you've, you've now taken it somewhere else. You've no, now I'm not. Yeah, I'm you are because John Wayne Gacy. There was overwhelming evidence in extreme cases. Should we have it? Because the, it does. It never is just limited to extreme cases. It's Can it be? No. It's a human system, and human beings are fallible. The only way that you can have a death penalty that is perfect is if human beings were perfect, and we're not. So you're never going to create a system where you only get the absolute sort of, quote, worst of the worst, who are the most innocent. There are people who have been thought to be innocent up until, you know, 48 hours before their execution, and then suddenly well, I'm talking about John Wayne Gacy. You know, right. what, I, what I'm saying is there are, there seems to be that there are extreme cases. You mentioned Bundy. Uh, the, the, the two people in Philadelphia that just gunned down a police officer in front of several witnesses who was just showing up to pick up uh, a birthday present for his nine-year-old son. There's going to be a call for him to be put, to, for those two to be put to death. We're not saying, I wouldn't say because that, that these particular people didn't deserve to die. But again, I'm going on, it's, first off, it's a cost-benefit ratio. In order to kill, have a, a death penalty in order to kill uh, John Wayne Gacy or Ted Bundy, you have to have a law that could be used in other circumstances to kill other people. And is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be worth it in human cost in terms of possibility of innocence? Is it going to be worth it in human cost? Somebody has to kill him. And I will say this, and I'll let you have the last word. I will say this, that I've covered so many of these cases. And a lot of the arguments for the death penalty is that it gives closure to the families. It, is excruciating to the families. The process itself is excruciating to the families. I've seen that firsthand. And thank you so much for being here. Sandy Manning, New Jerseyans for Alternatives to the Death Penalty, and also Sherry Silberstein, who is the Executive Director of Equal Justice USA. Stick around. Another thing continues when we come back.